Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review along with a couple of swatches of some of the things that I picked up from the newly released MAC Mariah Carey collaboration collection. I sound a bit funny because I've got a cold so my apologies. So this collection everybody was looking forward to it let's be honest the collection is very mariah it's very sparkly very diva very golden bronzy so much more better than her previous collaboration which was one dry sparkly lipstick that no one could really wear and i don't really think anyone bothered to either so when this collection was announced everyone was like oh my god you know there's like lipsticks and blushes and eyeshadows and all sparkly packaging so everyone including myself was really really excited when this launched so this launched in the uk um not long ago a few days ago around the same time as it did in the US maybe a few days here or there apart and I was able to order a couple of things online before they sold out so I'm going to quickly show you the things that I got then I'm going to talk about the things that I ordered and didn't get and then for the first time in a very long time I'm going to do my first ever MAC rant because you know what certain things happened and I'm not too happy about them and I know it happened to a lot of you guys as well so let's talk about it. But for, for now, let me show you the things that I got. So first off, the packaging, gorgeous. Here is one of the eyeshadow boxes. So it's got Mariah's signature on it with a little butterfly where the eye dots the eye. And along with some silver sparkliness on the box. So very gorgeous and a collector's item, I would definitely say. And then the actual packaging itself is a beautiful, again, very Mariah. Let me show it to you up close. So as you can see, this is one of the eyeshadow quads and it's rimmed with silver glitter, but the glitter is actually hidden behind like a plastic casing so it doesn't feel gritty and it won't come off, which is lovely and Mariah's name and signature on the front. So this eyeshadow quad, quad is called It's Everything and this one is more of an ode to Mariah's very silver taupey kind of standard classic, very classic smoky eyes that she likes to do. So that's why you've got your taupey shades, your kind of greyish uh, grayish black shade along with a really shimmery shade to place on the lid so this is very much mariah as well as the whole golden bronze babe like image that she likes to kind of put out so this first shade here is called diamond butterfly this one is a beautiful kind of icy champagne color it's listed as a frost but i don't know what it is um i think it's more of a luster finish because it's got that very much obvious amount of fallout i did do a makeup tutorial using this and i used this eyeshadow and there is a lot of fallout but the pigmentation itself is really really good this shade here is called give my all and this one is like a silvery kind of topish gray with maybe a bit of purple undertone this one is listed as a luster but i'd really say it's a satin shade i don't know what it is with the labeling of some of these i don't think they're correct this one is a definite satin shade I applied it all over my lid and then I applied that on top and it looked amazing. Shade here is called Twinks and this is part of the permanent range. This is a Luxe Pearls, very pigmented, a beautiful colour. It's a very gorgeous kind of burgundy bronze. Really, really beautiful for any kind of smoky eye. And then this one here is called Images of Rapture. And this one is a really dark kind of steely grey shade. It's kind of got a satiny type of finish to it. But overall, I really like all the shades in this quad. Other than the um, intense amount of fallout that you get with this Diamonds in the Sky shade, I would say that this quad is pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. I have, like I said, I've done a makeup tutorial using these eyeshadows. So I will at some point load it up so you guys can see. But generally, I think this eyeshadow quad is pretty good. This eyeshadow quad is called I'm That Chick You Like. This shade here is called Whenever You Call. And this one is a Velux Pearl shade. It's intensely pigmented, beautiful and buttery. I love this kind of spun gold shade. It's gorgeous. I'm wearing it on my tear duct right now. This shade here is called You Can't can't escape me this one is a really soft peachy brown shade it almost doesn't show up on me so i used it to kind of blend out my eyeshadows it will work better on maybe lighter skin tones but not so much on me and it is a satin shade the shade here is called golden petals scattering this one has also been listed as a frost but i definitely say it's a luster can you see how bits and pieces it is on my hand I mean, it is intensely pigmented. The shade is absolutely gorgeous bronzy shade. I'm using this on my lower lash line. Um, but other than the fallout as well, it's a gorgeous shade. But again, it's mislisting on Max uh, labeling for some reason. And this shade here is called How You Thrill Me. This one is a very definite matte shade. For some reason, it's written as satin. It's a gorgeous kind of deep dark brown shade. I'm using this to smoke out my eyes today and on my lower lash line. 
So this is actually the palette I'm using on my eyes today. I'm using something else on my lid, but I'm using all of these shades. Again, it's a pretty good palette. I'd give it a B. I'd give the other one a B as well, not an A, due to the ones that have got so much dusty fallout on them. And so generally, I'm quite happy with both of these um, eyeshadow quads. Um, this one, like I said, is what I'm wearing on my eyes. You can see. I'm using this golden one on my tear duct. It's gorgeous. Now, I definitely think from a collector's point of view, and now, come on, we can all be packaging hauls around here. Loads of us were interested in getting My Mimi Extra Dimension Skin Finish, regardless of the fact that, let's be honest, most of us would not really be able to wear this shade. It is a very deep bronze shade. It does not work well as a highlighter on my skin tone or anyone a lot fairer than me. For my dark skin ladies, this will work perfectly for you. And it is obviously the one which has got her face on it. I have used it, which is why it's a bit indented. So cute. So I really, really love this. I'm actually using this on my lid today. You know what? I'm not going to complain too much about the fact that it doesn't go with all skin tones. Dark skin ladies always get left out of so many things. So many highlighters out there that come out time and time again. And they never work as well on dark skin ladies. So I think it was about time that they had something for themselves like this. I mean, it is a little bit confusing considering Mariah's skin tone is medium skin tone. Why she would bring out something that wouldn't even work with her skin tone that well. But hey-ho. I'm using this on my eyelid today and it is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. I got two of the lipsticks and they also come in this sparkly packaging and they come in this beautiful sparkly silver packaging, which I love. The two lipsticks that I got is called All I Want and I Get So OOC and they are both frosts. This is All I Want. I have used it and it's got, of course, the famous butterfly that she loves so much engraved into the lipstick, which is beautiful. And it is a very pale, taupey, silvery shade. I wore this on top of the other lipstick I'm about to show you. It's gorgeous. Would work well on medium skin tones if you use a brown lip liner. I actually used um, Max Stone. And this is I Get So OOC. And it's a beautiful, bronzy, frosty shade. Wearing them together is gorgeous. Wearing them on their own, gorgeous too. Now, very quick little rant here because I'm actually on my way out ice skating. And I have to kind of like leave the house like um, two minutes ago. So... Lots of people in the UK basically got shafted by Max Online, Mac Online and I know I'm not the only one this happened to. Plenty of people on Snapchat told me this happened to them and on Instagram I read everybody's posts, the same thing happened to them. So basically, yeah, everyone was looking forward to this launch because it's Mariah Carey and the collection is gorgeous. Now, if you're a makeup addict like me, we're a little community of people. Do you know what I mean? We're not a massive community. Let's say 100 people use Mac and out of those 100 people, there will be 10 that are serious makeup addicts. And I'm one of those 10 and so are our little beauty community Wednesday night this launched on Mac's website there was no announcement it wasn't even on the actual page yet you type in the name and it showed up anyway somebody on snapchat told me this I did that and I ordered all the stuff that you've seen plus two blushes as well from the collection the pink and the orange now, at this point, MAC hadn't officially launched it. It wasn't even mentioned anywhere. It was like pss, 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 whispers, you know, people who know are in the know. You know, that's how, exactly how I got the new Extra Dimension skin finishes, which I showed you guys um, a few weeks ago. It was by typing it in and the image showed up, even though I hadn't officially launched. No email had been sent out saying, oh, Mariah Carey collection has been launched. Even though, let's be honest, for those of us that are signed up to the email, the email always goes out hours after the actual launch. And when you get the email, it's already sold out. So it's the stupidest system I've ever come across. Anyway, I ordered all my things. I remember refreshing and checking now and then. I actually, out of curiosity, wanted to see how quick quickly this collection would sell out. So after I'd ordered all my stuff, carried on doing my thing, woke up in the morning, had a look on the website again. Oh, it's all still there. Oh, great. It's not actually selling as quick as I thought. La, 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 la. By the end of Thursday, obviously, everything was gone. Then I started seeing people's messages. Oh, I got my MAC collection um, package online, but something was missing. And then somebody else. Oh, something was missing. Something was missing. Something, and I was like, oh my god, I started getting paranoid thinking it was going to happen to me. Then people on Snapchat started getting their stuff. Oh, my lipstick was left out. My blusher was left out. My highlighter was left out. And it's now sold out, so nothing can be done about it. I was like, what? So I unsurprisingly started getting paranoid. It'd been three, four days. I'd got no dispatch email like I normally do from Mac. I know how they work. You normally get it after about two, three days, nothing. So I rang their customer service line. I was on hold for half an hour. The woman that answered the phone, oh my god, I'm wheezing now. 
<coughs> sorry it's because i've actually got really bad cold yeah the woman answered and i said look um can you confirm what's happened to my order because i've had no dispatch email nothing like that and she was like oh it's been sent out don't worry it's something just up with our systems i was like okay fine Got my stuff the next day, opened up the box, lo and behold, two blushes are missing and there is an eyeliner, a full-size eyeliner in there that I hadn't even ordered. I was pissed. Is And I knew it was going to happen. I looked on Instagram, looked at other people's posts. This was left out, that was left out, but now the entire collection is sold out. There's nothing we can do. I sent such a shitty email to Mac. I said, you know what, this is a disgrace. This is, even, this is not even the first time this has happened to me. This happened to me with the Simpsons collection about two years ago as well. I know I ordered everything on time. You know what, your warehouse staff are ridiculous. They don't know how to pack boxes. Not only that, you lot have lost out on money by putting a full-size lip eyeliner in my box that I didn't even order. Somebody on Snapchat told me they were sent a full-size mascara they didn't order. Somebody else told me they were sent a full-size velvet teddy lipstick that they didn't order. So you have not only got to give us refunds for the things that we did order, but you didn't send us, but you've also lost out on money in sending us things that we didn't order to begin with. Anyway, they replied back to me, completely ignoring everything I said. They were like, oh, you should sign up to email alerts i was like what kind of rubbish answer is this they were like oh you know i get this this is what made me laugh the most they said our website refreshes every 20 minutes and did i not say that i had checked and checked and checked keeping an eye on what was still in stock out of curiosity they're such liars and i was really really angry and i've got my refund which is fine i have got the chance to actually go buy those blushes but i really just don't want to now to be honest the things that i really wanted were these kind of things the blushes were just kind of a nice to have but regardless what kind of poor customer service is this not just by mac treating us like we're stupid i don't know how many times i've been to a mac store and i've said when is this launching and they stare at me like i don't know what i like they don't know what i'm talking about because us beauty addicts know more about mac than the people who work at mac so when you try and treat us like we're stupid i really just don't appreciate it the truth is that the people who work in the warehouse did not pack things properly and that's it because I ordered my stuff on the Wednesday night, it was 8pm, it was still early, and most people didn't know that the stuff had launched. I know I got my stuff. Not only that, the most popular thing would have been the My Mimi highlighter. How is it that I got that and not the other things? treating us like we're stupid anyway let me know what your thoughts are have you dealt with this before with mac this is the second time this has happened to me now and i just i don't even know what to say to them anymore they just don't take us as customers seriously and they treat us like we're thick sign up to the email updates your email updates don't even go out on time so what's the point anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video like comment subscribe let me know what your thoughts are and i'll see you all soon bye